Hi guys! Hello people of the interweb! We would like to introduce you to a new member of our family. This is Scarlett May. Baby Chunky Cheeks! <laughs> This is Scarlett May, but she we call her on May because Or May May and she lets me call her May. May May means little sister. She is our new little sister. Mommy and Daddy went to China and adopted her. So as Aunt May is enjoying her snack right now, we thought we would do a video of a haul of all the things that mommy and daddy picked up in China. There was some really cool stuff. We went shopping, we went like, to Walmart in China was really cool. What was it like? It was like American Walmart, but it was, it was like, Chinese things. It was like American Walmart in China with Chinese things. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, don't, don't regurgitate it. She's like, what is going on? She'll get used to this pretty quickly. She's just staring at herself for the camera like, I'm so beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna show you all the stuff that mommy and daddy picked up. We got some toys, we got some souvenirs, and we just thought it would be fun to share it with you guys because we did get quite a few things. So one of the first things that I got was a doll that I found at Walmart. It was only $10, and it is like the cutest doll ever. It's this right here, it's the Minnie Mouse doll. It's, I don't know what brand it is. It's the Chinese brand. Yeah. So, uh, well, it's Kern, K-U-R-H-N meets Disney. Chinese doll Kern Bonnelly plays Disney classic characters, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, brand new fashion experience, all in our Disney theme series. So she's just like a normal person. She's like a cosplayer. Yeah, she is adorable. She is an articulated doll. She could be a hard shoe blue girl. Yeah, she was only 10 US dollars, which I thought was a really good deal. I know these dolls are really popular. It's so like looking at it like, what is this? It's Minnie Mousey, especially Ooh. here in the States. So that was the first thing we picked up. Then the next thing. Oh. I struggle holding the baby while Whoa. trying to get something. The next thing we got at Walmart, this is for Violet. I have um, four things for myself. <laughs> that little cute little figure girl right there. It's D-Dung. 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 I don't know. Everyone loves me. <laughs> Self-absorbed. It's just this cute little kawaii mouse. kawaii mouse girl. Okay, here's the thing. Mice, mom, you know how people find mice as rodents? Mm -hmm. I find them very adorable. Oh, yeah. My friend has a mouse. Oh. My friend has a pet mouse and, it's, and he likes the cutest mouse ever. Show me a picture. So I just thought these were so cute, and this was maybe like four US dollars, like really cheap, but so cute, so kawaii, and Violet is all about that kawaii business. <laughs> so don't get me started. Oh, I need it. Are you making music? So we picked up this, and then for Violet, for souvenirs, we got More her. souvenirs. So um, where Anmei is from, she is from... Um, a very small town. Well, she's from the Guangxi province and Nanning is the capital, so that's where we had to go. And so we went to the nationality Chinese Nationality Museum and they had these in the souvenir shop and they're kind of like Funko Pop figures, but for the, um, the you know, Chinese nationals. And so we got that one right there. the lighting. Very cute. These were really inexpensive too, like seven bucks maybe. Why do China? Why do? Why does China have like cheaper prices? Because they produce everything. So in China, they produce all the toys that we buy, and they're shipped here. So that's why it costs so much more. But in China, they're already there. Sneaky little Americans. <laughs> so then we got this one too. She's so cute. Okay, Look you her. know what this reminds me of? Adam's family. When like. Morticia and Gomez are like dancing, like tap doing that dance. Oh yeah. Remember that little romantic like dance? Like they were um what was it, tangoing? If you've seen that family, you know what I'm talking about. And then we got this little cutie right here. I can't handle this. This reminds me of like Aladdin too much. It's like kind of Aladdin. But it's not, it's Chinese. Yeah, it's like it looks like Aladdin sort of. If you look at like a few of the costume looking things. Like on the on the back, the colors. Do you like those? And then, um, so in China and in Asia, they have like those claw machines everywhere you go. And they had malls like in a lot of places. So daddy and I were playing the claw machines and they have really fun prizes. And daddy won a prize and I won a prize. These two of the things. And I honestly, I love these kind of dolls, okay? Don't get me wrong. Why are people finding these things so creepy? I love it. I love these. 
the when, they're called the um mon 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 okay mon 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 monachi mon monachi and like I love like the plush bodies and like the rubber faces and stuff like they're so cute to me. Well, I remember having a something like this. Daddy said he had um, a little doll like this when he was a little kid. Um, so they're from like the 80s, but like they're really popular in China and they had the claw machines with these like all over the place. Why can't they have some in our mall? I know, but the claw machines were really difficult there. Like we tried a lot but they were inexpensive so it was okay but so this one's like a help dressed up as like hello kitty so cute and then we got this one and it's a little boy and she loves this one i've seen her play with this one like, so she, like she's trying to grab it it's a wolf it's wolf man no he's a, a monkey how's that a, oh he's a monkey that's a monkey oh it's it even got hairy legs those hairy <laughs> legs here give it to her let her play with it so we've funny. got both of those in the claw machines. And then, let's see. Um, my goal was to of get course. a Starbucks mug in the where she's from. So we went to Starbucks. Let me use it sometimes. <laughs> and you know how much I love Starbucks. They have these in like all the Starbucks everywhere you can get where, you know, the location. Oh so, my God. So I got this one from Nanning, China. Let Very me, cool. Let me use it sometimes. Starbucks in China. Wait, did you get a drink from Starbucks in China? I did. What, what flavor? <laughs> they had regular, like vanilla and all that. Well, if we ever go to like Europe or anything, I'm getting European Starbucks then. Oh. European Starbucks, so smancy. Then Daddy and I got these t-shirts for all the kids. So this one says Mei Mei, which means little sister. That's for her. Then Violet got a red one that says JJ, JJ, which means big sister. And then Kinsey and got Gugga, which means brother. Yes, he got a blue one that said Gugga, which means brother. <laughs> so we got three of those. Then. Oh, here comes the Disney stuff. Oh, this too. I got this. They had these in the claw machines, but I ended up buying it because I really wanted it. So oh, these put... are everywhere in China. All the girls have them on their backpacks and stuff. And I really wanted it because it looks like BB Bunny. I can't breathe. It's so cute and fluffy. So I got that. Can I? No, it's for me. Aww. Sorry, I'm upset. Why can't I put it on my backpack? Because it's mine. <laughs> it's going on my purse. It's so fluffy. It's so fluffy. And we got Probably. in China, of course, squeaky shoes are really popular, especially for, especially for the tourists. And so, the babies. So our um guy took us to a store where we could get squeaky shoes. So they're these little shoes for Scarlett. <laughs> and when she walks, they squeak. She hasn't used them yet. She hasn't used them yet. She but will. She will. Do you like those? I also got her a pair of um silks, Chinese silks, so that. They're the traditional Chinese silks for her that she, we're gonna take a picture in. Um, just like a really pretty little dress. Ooh. A Chinese silks dress. Pretty. And then the little jacket that goes over it. Um, Mom, didn't you buy a Mulan costume for her? I did, but yeah. this is like traditional Chinese. I know. But Mom bought her a Mulan costume and then a Aurora. A Mulan and a Cinderella. Yeah. More, I thought it was Aurora from Spaghetti. Oh. oh. I also got this keychain. Um, Can which, I put that on my backpack? No, I got you those. So I got this keychain, which is like the little dolls that I got for Violet. So I got myself that little keychain. Ooh, she likes it. Ooh, bunny. She likes it. Bunny. She likes it. It's like baby bunny. She loves the bunny. But only if the dogs and if the dog and Ray like if Raven and and Bee run up to her, she'll be like, oh, oh, like no no and like and then when she walks up to them, she's so calm. Bunny! She's talking, let her talk. Hold on. Let's listen to her talk. Bunny? 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 Whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then I got a couple things in here. I got myself some chopsticks. Of course. And she's like, wait, I want to use them. Which they're all like cool, pretty designs. Those are super inexpensive. Ooh. I got the kids' chopsticks. Like these are kids' ones. These are mine. I got Violet Minions. Minions. Well, of course you did. 
They look like scissors from Dragon Ball. Pikachu's Pokemon. are Pikachu, but uh, Scarlet's been playing with them today, so they're somewhere. But look at these. Look like scissors. This looks like a dangerous weapon. <laughs> she likes the chocolate. But I got her a panda set. I got these really cute pens. I have a green one. I in my gave Violet the green one because my favorite color is green, and I, I have like a really oh. They have a really fine tip on them. They're really cool. I, I really like I these. I use this sometimes. And then the last, is this the last thing? I oh think. no, there's a thingy that makes sounds over there. Oh yeah, but I'll grab one I got one. this. Um, in China we had this made for Scarlet and it is a stamp that comes with ink and it has her name in Chinese and in English. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait a and it has a carved horse on the top, and that's the year of the horse, which she was born in, the year of the horse. So we got that made for her. And then we got this. <laughs> she likes this. She likes that. She likes making the noise. Chinese little drum. She loves the music. She loves sound. She loves sound. Yeah. Like, look at how pretty these designs are. I don't know if you can see them, but... Very all right now. Open. Oh, you want me to open it? She says it's a dunga. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Haven't looked that up on the internet. She says it all the time. I'm not sure what it means. I'll look it up. I think it means I want that. I don't know. I'll look, um, I'll look up what dunga means in Chinese. But we had an amazing, amazing trip in China, and the best part. A baby. A baby bunny. Drinking my coffee. Bunny. Bunny. We had an amazing trip in China, and the best present to bring home was, of course, this little jewel right here. She has been an amazing addition to our family. She fits right in. She called the toys, and when I try playing, she loves she's like, to no. play. She's a good girl. She's a sweet baby, and we love her so much. She loves her sister and her brother. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> she likes making sounds and she likes making music. She does. She's sweet. And Violet like, loves music too. And I was like playing like songs like Grace Vander while she was just staring at the screen, like listening to the music. It was cute. Like she loves music. You know, like this on me. It's Pinocchio! <laughs> I just now realized Pinocchio's in the shoe. Pinocchio, where have you been? <laughs> Were you still jumping that whale? <laughs> but overall, we had an amazing trip, and I have put up um, all the videos of our trip in parts. If you want to check those out, I'll have the link to those down below. You can see Scarlett's adoption day and just all the fun things that we got to do while we were in China. It was really, really amazing. Mondays. Mondays. But yeah, we thought this would just be a fun little video for you guys. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow us on all our social media. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye to the camera. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.